What's up, Kane Insider fans? The Beast Brian London coming to you from the EJ Room, where we just uh, heard Al Golden address the media in his weekly press conference. Just some news and notes you want to uh, be uh, be updated with. Uh, OT Eduardo Clements has the hamstring injury. He's going to be a game time decision, it sounds like. But because his uh, status is in question, they've uh, elevated Walter Tucker. Walter Tucker is going to lose his red shirt. Al Golden confirmed that today that he's going to play at least on special teams this week. Uh, he's listed as the fourth running back and the second full back so Walter Tucker who is uh from what I hear, an amazing athlete, championship hurdler. This guy is going to see some playing time this week, and we'll see if uh, if the young kid uh, gets it done against Georgia Tech. Other injuries: Shane McDermott is fine, uh, Jermaine Grace is fine, and uh, it seems like health-wise, Stephen Morris is coming along. Although I was a little more ambiguous about Stephen's ankle, so we'll see uh, how much he goes against Georgia Tech. I'm sure if it's up to Stephen, he's going to go the entire time. Other news and notes: Duke Johnson. Um, when we got out to practice today, I didn't even notice it. And I guess it's because I'm so used to seeing him in orange that I didn't really notice that he was in white. But he was in white today, and let me explain what that means. You know on defense, the kids that wear the black jerseys are the overachievers, the superstars, the studs, the guys that are going be above and beyond being a first teamer. Same thing on offense. If you're wearing orange, you're going above and beyond. Well, Duke has been in orange his entire, basically his entire career at the U. Today he was in white, Dallas was in orange, and Al said, listen, real simple, don't fumble the ball inside the five yard line and you won't lose your orange jersey. So uh, obviously Duke has learned a lesson. Al didn't want to make a big deal about it, but uh, they're trying to get the message across. Even though Duke is a star, hey, listen, man, you better control the football because uh, t turnovers are unacceptable. Al also not happy with penalties, especially on special teams, and you figured that would be the case because that's his area of really coaching on this team. He is the special teams coordinator, so uh, having a, over 160 yards of special teams re returns coming back because of penalties is not going to bode well with the head coach. We talked to Art Kehoe today. Jared Wheeler is kicking butt, taking names, and uh, Al Golden said, listen, he's vying for a spot there. And even though Shane McDermott's healthy, we'll see what happens. Um, I still think Shane probably will start as long as he's 100%, but Jared Wheeler's going to play a lot. And this guy is just nasty, dirty, fights, scratches, claws. He is all old school Miami offensive lineman. And uh, trust me, Art Kehoe lit up like a Christmas tree when talking about uh, Jared Wheeler. Also talked to Art about the goal line, short yardage. How come they can't get Gus Edwards in uh, from the goal line? He said, it's pad level, man. We're playing too high, and you can't do that on the goal line. you got to stay low. you got to stay low even when you get through your first block, even when you get to the second level. you got to stay low, and if my guys stay low, we'll be able to get in. We're physical enough to get these guys in, but we did not do that against USF. I asked Al about the defense. What's the, the, the thing that really makes you feel good about your defense? And he gave up three things. It was uh, takeaways, obviously. It was uh, not giving up too many explosive plays and red zone defense. Um, soon on the site, probably tomorrow on CanadianCenter.com, I'm going to do a whole statistical breakdown of the defense, so look forward to that. But all of those things, I looked at the stats last night, are unbelievable for this team considering where they were last year, where the defense was just a mess. Things uh, have really improved on that end for this team. Really not a lot of other news and notes, but trust me, if, if it's to be had, you can find it on the Talk of Champions board on Kane Insider. Brandon O'Doy is updating the thread on that. I'll have some stuff later on. You don't want to miss a beat. Stay tuned to KaneInsider.com for all the latest news, notes, and quotes on this Miami Hurricanes football team. With that, I will see you next time. It's the Beast for Kane Insider. Peace.